Let's talk about the Lord. Yeah. My love, what's up, all these false prophets? Right. It's a lot of them. They're veterans. Mm -hmm. they know There's too many false that. prophets. Oh, I mean, you got to you know be aware. You got to know God for yourself. Right. Because the very one who you think that's God's servant, mm -hmm. be a warlock. Mm -hmm. Or a sorcerer. Mm -hmm. I see you know, we ain't some block right now and get my taxes done. Yeah. So you hear the thing right. the conversation in the background. But we, me and my wife was talking about so many false prophets mm -hmm. in the churches. Right. And we were talking about even pastors. And my wife is a pre-K. I'm a pre-K. We, we were talking about how many pastors out there who pray for other people, but don't pray for their own children. Can you talk about that? Uh, yes, it's sad, but um, a lot of pastors that have their own children, mm -hmm. they're praying for, they're holding long prayer lines on Sundays and praying for everybody else, yet their own kids can be depressed or discouraged mm -hmm. and they don't try to come and listen to hear from the Lord to help their own child and their child sometimes can lose hope and leave the church. I never understood that because you got pastors and sons killing themselves. Right. A man of God is supposed to be able to pick up on his own child when uh -huh. they're depressed, not just pick up on anybody else. Uh -huh. Sometimes a man of God can have an anointing, but the house is tore up. My Lord. That's yes. why it's good to have prayer in the house. Amen. Have prayer in the house. Uh -huh. Because a family that pray together. Stay together. And the family that lasts. A family that's fast is not going to last. Right. If you fast together, you're going to last together. Amen. Because, you know, really, church is supposed to start in the home, right? Right. It does. Yeah. Actually, we are the church. You Amen. Know, you know, when God is in your heart, we are the church. Yes. Before we actually go to the church building, right. it's important to have church in your house. That's right. But if, if you're married to the wrong one who don't love Jesus, talk about that. Yeah. If you unequally yoked, that sometimes, like, you know, one of the uh, partners won't, don't want to pray, don't want to read the Bible, um, you know, don't want to seek God for things together or go to service and worship together. So, yeah, to, un to be equally yoked is very important. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. You know, the Bible said in Amos 3 3, can two walk together except to be agreed. Right. Amen. And you got people in church who are saved, and you just give them equally yoked even with Christians because you got the common minded Christian, you got the spiritual minded Christian. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to put them down because we all striving. But even when you're a Christian and you want to get saved to a Christian, you still got to pray. Because just because they say, don't mean they can be a good husband. Amen. Don't mean they can be a good wife. Let's right. talk about that on part two.